Welcome back to U.S. Department of Justice, taking the Department of Corrections to court over the state of Georgia's prisons. The federal agency has been investigating conditions in the state's prisons due to spikes in violence, including murder, suicide and assaults. Jessica Cha met with a family whose son died behind bars and tells us that they're still searching for answers. The U.S. Justice Department took Georgia's Department of Corrections to court last week. They say the state refuses to hand over documents they've requested in their investigation, which includes information like how many inmates have been murdered. Marcus Pearson Sr. and his family say that they still have yet to receive any details on how their son died. The last thing I look at and the first thing I see in the morning. Marcus Pearson Sr.'s son, Marcus Jr., was an inmate at Telfair State Prison. Pearson says his son was a good kid who loved to make people laugh. He was serving time for armed robbery and was a year away from release when he died two years ago. He was found in his dorm unresponsive due to an altercation with another inmate. Prison officials told Pearson that his son died from blunt force trauma, but his autopsy report shows that he died from stab wounds. He says he hasn't heard from the prison in two years about their investigation. That's my junior, my first born son. Oh, it was like oh, somebody sticking their hand in your chest and pulling your heart out. Pearson and his family just want answers to how his son died. U.S. Attorney Peter Leary says the federal investigation will look into whether Georgia's prisons are safe. The safe, uh, safety and welfare of incarcerated individuals as well as prison guards is of utmost importance and uh, we want to make sure we're protecting people's civil rights while they're serving their time. Pearson says he feels the state prison system swept his son's death under the rug and wishes it could be handled more seriously. In Macon, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. Uh, Georgia Department of Corrections sent us a statement saying they have been working together with the Justice Department. But they say federal officials are asking for confidential information that could threaten the safety of staff and inmates.